Hello, I'm Captain Goldie, and this is Numeria, Episode 1. <coughs> I'm going to be doing a Let's Play series. So let's get started. I'm going to name it The Kingdom of the Seven Iron Angels. I'm going to do an advanced setup. Um, I like... I toyed around with it, and I really like shallow metal and abundant, because you're just you're just gonna find plenty of metal, and that's it's really good in any case. But uh, I like to fight the goblins and all the other invaders, so um, I don't I don't like just walling myself in. So having access to plenty of metal will make it easier. I'm going to play around with some of these options. You can um, preview, like this, get a feel for uh, what you're walking into. So like this isn't too bad, you can, you can see uh, the hill and there's some rocks in there, but it looks like there's also a cavern like right off the bat. So I'm going to be uh, toying around with the options and previewing it until I find something I'm uh, pleased with. So here we are in the game. I uh, I uh, played around with the seed and, <coughs> and some of the sliders and got um, a setting I liked. It's got some nice gently rolling hills, plenty of resources. Uh, it's a nice um, untamed land it's a, a lake apparently plenty of wood and I find this um, this uh, clay here just sort of sprinkled all over is sort of annoying because you have to dig it up to plant anything but uh, here we are and in our new kingdom. We've claimed these lands for the Seven Iron Angels. And uh, these gnomes have designs on building the Iron Citadel, the seat of power in the kingdom. And I like this open field here that they started in. It would be good for uh, farming. Not a lot of trouble other than digging up this clay here, placing it with dirt. Um, some other people seem to think that these gnomes, they, they come out here on these colonization missions to uh, seemingly be on vacation, sunbathe and eat ripe fruit and just have a merry time of it, but um, I, think, I think my gnomes are keenly aware that they are not very high on the, on the food chain and, and that goblins will be coming to eat them constantly, so... So they're here with a no-nonsense um, mindset that uh, that they're here to build a, a citadel, one that can withstand the rigors of constant goblin assaults, and that the uh, the name of the seven iron angels will strike terror into any goblins. Eventually, we'll see how it comes, but. Um, But for now, they, they, they believe they have it within them, and that they've come here to, uh, not, not to truly make a better life for themselves, but to, to, uh, to make a, a stronghold that will benefit all gnomes, seeing as that there's plenty of, like, gnome, nomads that come along, it's, I, at least I'm assuming that that gnomes everywhere are constantly under attack, being low on, on the food chain, as I pointed out. That uh, gnome civilizations are probably falling all over the place, having a difficult time defending themselves, so they're here to build the Iron Citadel and to, uh, to do their best to uh, not only defend themselves, but to build um, a beacon of hope for all gnome kind. Mm -hmm. 
so with that goal in mind, um, the first thing our miners are going to do is to dig into the mountain here in search of metals. So we're going to clear a path here and then dig in. It's also pretty important to uh, set up a pasture so your cows aren't just roaming around aimlessly. So they're on to that. Um, okay, we got that cleared out. We're going to dig into the mountain and hopefully quickly run into some some minerals. I call it a mountain, but it is most decidedly a large hill. So uh, I, I think I'll build a dormitory for them, just because um, they're going to start passing out eventually, and, and I'd rather that done in a uh, in a room and not just out in the wild, because they don't they don't get a lot of rest from just passing out in the fields. But um, I don't I don't want to overwork them too much either. Just thinking where to put it. Uh, you're, you're presented with a blank slate with infinite possibilities, and as soon as you start bumbling things up by placing stuff without thinking, it uh, starts getting ugly quick. So I am making this harder than it needs to be. Uh, yeah, I suppose just a nice even 4x4, four four. and uh, if this truly gets in the way of my greater designs, it won't be difficult to uh, destroy this and rebuild it into something else. But ultimately, I just want to get the dormitory up and then, uh, but not make it so large and unwieldy that if I don't like where it is, I can't move it easily. Gonna designate the dormitory, and basically, the, a dormitory is just sort of like a, a common sleeping area. And this is where people that don't have rooms will sleep. I could go and build individual rooms for everybody, but seeing as I want my miners scouring the earth for minerals. I would uh, I would rather just take this shortcut and just have um, a dormitory instead of going ahead and building all those individual rooms. I believe I have enough straw for nine beds, so that should work. Also, I, I need I like to give orders to everybody so that they're constantly busy while I'm focusing on something else. So uh, since I want to focus on getting the metal, I'm going to just give large gather orders to people, like gather all these apples and strawberries, clear this area out, grab this cotton and stuff. And uh, the woodcutters um, come over here and hack down a large portion of this. Uh, the rancher ain't going to be doing much, so I'm going to build a, a designate a stockpile. I'm going to put it near the door because this is where I'm going to put my uh, temporary workshops. Um, 
I remember the game being a lot easier in the previous versions because you could just build sawmills and whatnot. But now you have to start off with uh, crude workshops and build the materials to build the next tier of workshops. And I've just personally, I've run into trouble with those crude workshops. They just seem to produce so slowly. So here I'm going to have logs and planks. Uh, in preparation of the crude workshops and then here I'm gonna have stone because uh, the the stone will stack to 64 on each square the logs and planks will go individually on those other squares until I build these crates here so that'll help out so that keeps the farmer gatherers busy, the woodcutters busy, and the rancher should be keeping himself busy with hauling. Uh, and the builders, they'll be helping with hauling. So, um, well, actually, the builders are going to be busy with these beds and then hauling. So we have freed up at least some time to devote our attention to the mining, to just like keep them, you know, like constantly overseeing their work, not like giving them a, a gigantic order like dig out this area and then go focus on something else. It's We're going to be somewhat babysitting them while looking for metal. Uh, I like to build a main stairwell, so I think I'll place that I think that's on the yep, it's on the right line. Oh, I was a square off. My, my bad. Now, uh, I built it like this so that I could um, sort of fortify the stairs a little bit, where uh, doors can go here, and then the stairs are, are uh, separated from the rest of this floor by these walls and, and doors. That makes it a little bit fortified in my mind. If uh, skeletons or something come up from the depths, they'll have to beat through these doors before they can start killing people. And I do that on every floor that I build on. Um, I don't do that on every floor I dig through, but if I'm going to build on that floor, it'll it'll have something like this. So I'm just setting some build orders here. Well, mine orders. And then, uh... Yes, I, in the game options, I bound the N key to dig down so I don't have to hunt through the menus to do it. So I should be able to just come along with these guys here and dig down. We're also looking for rock because we need stone for the uh, workshops. Hitting plenty of dirt, which is a fantastic. This is rock. I bet it's sandstone. I hate sandstone. Yeah. I just personally find sandstone hideous. But it is a stone, so it, it um, it'll satisfy the needs for um, for the workshops. Start making chisels and, and stuff. Stone blocks.
going down. I'm going to check on everybody upstairs here in a second. That uh, looks like I accidentally screwed up my mining. But I bet I screwed it up on every level below there. Okay, well, it's not ideal, but, um, I'll just have to reorient the stairs. probably uh, set it to mine stairs down and then just go through here and do orders. But they hit coal here, yeah. No, I can only mine up. I'm going to check on everybody up here, see what they're doing. Got a bunch of apples. Probably need to put a food stockpile at some point. Got sandstone. Woodcutters are done, so that means they can start working in the workshops cut, uh, cutting planks. So that's build workshop, crude workbench. build three of them so that I can have uh, the two woodworkers making planks and then eventually one of the miners can come up here and make chisels but I don't I don't need a, a lot of chisels setting it to repeat a mean that they'll just continuously make planks, which is what I want them to do on both of these workshops, because these planks are, are going to go quick. They're they're difficult to make on this these benches. I want to, like, make a, a sawmill as soon as I'm able, just just to speed this process up, because their, their efficiency at this task is horrid. I'm just hoping that they are able to use these beds and not have to sleep so much to make up for the fact that they're going to be not doing a fantastic job at making planks. But uh, they're working hard. Can't fault them for that. Here's some copper. This is what we need. This is, this is wonderful, finding copper. I'm also going to need to dig down, continue finding stuff. We're at depth 10. This is where we found copper. That's not unlikely. Um, usually you find copper at 10. Probably gonna find more stuff at 15, 20, and stuff, and like that. It's just it's easy to predict along those lines that you'll you'll find things at those depths. I 
here's ten. We got a bronze at least. Some more copper. This is turning out pretty nice. start heading down to want to see if uh, I hit anything else I think I'll uh, give the builders something to do. At least I'm, I, I believe the builders are who replace floor. Because if it's the miners, then I'm not going to want them to do too much of this. But I'm just preparing this for farming. Looks like the builders are doing it, because uh, the miners walk around with pickaxes. Wow, they found a lot of nice stuff here. Tin and copper all together, it's pretty good. Unfortunately, they don't mine through the ore very quickly. Like, they'll mine through native stone and soil pretty quick, but uh... If you're digging on coal or copper, tin, that sort of thing, gems are even longer to mine through. That's fine. Um, I'm sure they're pretty pleased with themselves. This is what they were looking for. Sapphire. Yep. That's a funny sight. I, I didn't even know what to say. It was just like a just a huge room where people just sleep next to each other. Com filled the capacity. I'm not sure if it works uh, exactly like personal rooms where the worth of the room determines how much rest they get from sleeping, but um... But if it does work like that, uh, a value 16 like that is pretty good because um, if I was to make personal rooms right now, they would only have a value of two from the, the straw beds come out naturally at a uh, value two. I'm gonna give the uh, farmers some more work. I'm going to have them uh, clip all of these um, apple trees and then replant them because this is fine for where the uh, orchard can be. Though I'm thinking I'm going to terraform this hill back a little bit, kind of square it off with the entrance a little more. So that means I'm going to have to chop down these trees up here. I'm 
pretty sure we need more wood too, so I'm cutting those down. I'm going to take a moment here and kind of plan out this area where I want workshops and whatnot. Alright, I uh, set up the area where I want the um, workshops over here. Figured I'd stick the great hall here because it was a large space. And I set up some rooms over here, but I don't want them wasting their time digging it yet, so I didn't connect it to the uh, current orders. Um, they finished sleeping, so they're good to work all day, I hope. Um, they finished planting the apple trees while I was planning planning this. I let it run for a couple hours and then decided to pause it. In-game hours, not uh, actual hours. That'd be, that'd be ridiculous. Um, I wanted to plant some more apple trees, so I, I have them over here getting some cuttings, and um, I figured I, I punished the pine tree population, so I was going to get some cuttings here and try to undo some of that damage, because you never know when, when you'll need some trees, and if you cut them all down and not replace any, then, then you're out of luck. Um, I... Uh, I dug back this a little bit, because that was part of the um, planning phase. I wanted to trim back some of this hill. Uh, you can remember that the hill was sort of where these dirt piles were. I wanted to kind of square it off more and then figure out what could fit inside. So my first first thing I did was, was cut back a little bit on the hill and then... Um, I decided why not just stick a, a wall up here. Might as well utilize the top of this hill as well. It's good farming. Though, uh, it does appear that there is some... some clay... in the way. Just clean that up real quick. There you go. I'm actually quite impressed with these miners. Um, that that was a fair chunk of work they just uh, sprinted through. It's not even on, you know, fast forward. So they got that done, and that also means that uh, they're free to finish this job. Um, I think I'm good. They, they need to get down here and mine a little more, so I'm not going to give them too much more work up up there, uh, carving away at the hill, um, that's sort of secondary to, um, to finding more metals. Building the outside of the fortress you can do any time, really. Um, this first season of spring is your only safe time to, uh, to gather the really essential materials, such as in, in this case, uh, the metals, um, I want to get down here, like, this is all, like, dangerous, everything below 10 depth after this, you know, spring is, is rather dangerous, um, things spawn here below level 10, so, I want to, want to get down here and get what I can while it's safe. Finally hit some nice rock, uh, I think this is, like, lapis or something. Yeah. So, um, this is... I like this rock. This blue is nice. Um, I really don't like the sandstone. I guess because it's just, like, fleshy-colored, and... 
I just don't see epic fortresses made out of it, especially sandstone, thinking, you know, this, this fortress is made of sandstone, nothing will defeat it. Which is also why I'm building the walls up here out of out of out of, out of dirt, because um, I'm gonna replace them once I have uh, a suitable rock to do it with. Um, I didn't want to put anything. Well, it, it also the um, the easy factor, you know, there's dirt all are up here already, so. It's just, it'll get done quickly and free them up to do other chores. Like, uh, it's time they... I'm pretty sure they're done gathering, so I'm gonna have them plant the next crop of apples. This is where the wall is gonna be, so I'm gonna put it here. And I doubt they actually have enough to fill it in, but that's sort of how I want it. Um, I'm not going to bother getting any more clippings, because um, I'll be able to get clippings off these trees and just replant later, so I don't need to go hunting around the map for more apple clippings. I don't really want pine trees inside the fortress. They're not as valuable as birch, but I wanted to repair some of the damage I did to the pine population so I'm, I'm gonna plant them out here sort of where they used to be so they're, they're getting to work um, I don't think anybody's idle and check here but we've got idols Oh, miners. Um, it's because uh, I didn't set a whole lot of orders for them here. Um, I'll give them a little more work to do. I basically wanted them to, to get down here more, but I didn't want to go and like manually cancel every square I want the stair on and put them so I, I have to sort of babysit them while they're mining down here keep them working ah, my mouse is having trouble there we go for some reason it was it was jumping two levels every click of the mouse wheel up or down. Um I wanna I wanna finish this wall a little bit, keep the keep the builders occupied. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure how big I want the wall for. You know, this upper area. I mean, I imagine I'll eventually expand across the area here, but I just want a, a starting area that's sort of safe. size of this area. It'll work. I hope it's not too much work for the builders to handle. It's it's a fair a fair chunk of walls to be built, but it's out of dirt. They shouldn't have trouble hauling the uh, supplies there. The 
planting the trees or getting that done. And then they'll move on to this. So the uh, the farmers and the builders are, are working. Um, the woodcutters are busy. So I think I can get back to just babysitting the miners on their trip into the center of the earth. So they're finding plenty of copper, which is great. I believe I'm going to make uh, the anvils out of copper, and then any left over will be mixed with the tin to make bronze. I might as well just uh, skip... Skip, um... Uh, copper tiered armor and weapons all together. Just focus on getting bronze done. There's a surprising amount of metal right there. I didn't expect so much here, like um, just all together. Which is probably due to the, the setting of uh, abundant metals. I'm sure. I'm sure we're gonna pay for it soon. Uh, all of this is going towards the value of the uh, the kingdom worth two. So probably just sitting on the ground like that. I bet it's going towards the value. Yeah, looks like it. I bet the second miner's sleeping. I don't see him there working with the other one. Yeah, there he is. Pickaxe is a dead giveaway. This is a, a pretty large field of apple trees. Um, I'm thinking um, I'm probably going to cut some of these down as well. Like use the lumber. So I won't need such a massive chunk of birch for uh, normal construction, because because I like to use birch for everything. Like usually, I'll have a much smaller apple orchard just for the food, and I won't ever cut it down. It'll just be for apples and reproducing apples. But um, with this chunk of uh, apple trees, I think I'll be able to gather the apples and then cut them down and then specifically use the apple wood to like make coal and and whatever else I need that doesn't require value and since I won't be using the birch for coal since I have plenty of apple here I won't need as much birch but I do I do need some birch within the walls so I'm gonna clear that and then start finding some birch to clip. So there's a little bit, and I saw some up here. There we go. And uh, I think that'll do. I'm, I'm not too interested in a massive quantity of birch, because I got the apples. As for the rest of this area, I need to make sure it's all clear. And I'm thinking I'll stick the... Um, well, this is, this is ready to go, so I guess I'll, I'll stick a farm up here first. Probably the wheat. There's something wrong here. It's F. Oh, look at that. Clay. Fantastic.
Hopefully they run up here and get that done quick because I want to place that farm field. Though I suppose I can see if them just quickly check to see if uh, the miners... Yeah, look at that. Perhaps they're working too hard. If that's possible. down. So I got two more levels to go down. Okay, it looks like these are finally full of planks, so I'm going to tell this guy to stop this and start making brick benches. Six of them. And chairs. Which also means I need to get a stockpile just to move some of those planks out. right now they're full and they won't work and I need to just get them a little unfull so that they can start turning those planks into furniture I need to make workshops. they didn't finish that corner and they can't get to it which may mean that corner is like not even you know you don't need a wall there but I like to have it nice and squared off and I'm gonna have to dig out these ramps so that I can put put walls Looks like they're both back to work again, so it's not going to take them too long to get down there. Maybe they got that clay out. Alright, good. Um... need a massive field right off the bat because uh, I don't even have the seeds for it but I can put wheat in there and um, didn't even properly prepare up here uh, I gotta get that out of the way Bridge planted. I probably need to even get a little bit more bridge because I don't think I have enough. 
to plant that area. Right there, getting those done. Um, trying to think where, where do I want what? Uh, this is the Great Hall, so I want the food close by. Which kind of leaves the rest of the area open. Um, I guess the carpenter can go here. The stone. There. Hopefully that won't cause them too much trouble to get built. that delicious silver. Alright, um, you've reached down here to 21, huh? No, 20. We're about to break down into 20. There should be some more stuff down here, uh, in the 20 area. We will soon find out. is and terrifically high. Uh, we're gonna need to get um, a grid, the Great Hall finished before the next season so we can get a, a nice boost to our population. But uh, so far the Iron Citadel isn't 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 full of any iron yet. We're gonna have bronze pretty quick. I want to get the basic workshops up. It's it's never a good idea to skip any of them because uh, relying on these crude workshops is just disastrous. And these poor farmers are overworked. You can see them struggling to get through this planning. Haven't even touched the wheat field. I'm sure they prioritize these trees over the wheat, and I want to get the wheat in the ground, and then the strawberries and cotton. So uh, I'm gonna have to stop playing around with the trees as soon as I can. But overall, uh, the wall's looking good. Uh, it's not gonna take much effort to finish it off. I'm thinking the gatehouse will be in this vicinity. I'll probably line it up with the door. And move the pasture inside. But, uh, I'm not I'm not a big fan of walling myself in. I just want the walls to funnel the enemies into an area, so... So the gatehouse is going to be somewhere around here, and it, I'll keep adding on to it, so, so it's a, a tunnel of death eventually with traps, and the military will be stationed around here. But, um, yeah, this episode's coming to an end, so uh, I don't I don't want to make them too long. So f the, uh, the Seven Iron Angels Kingdom is getting off to a good start. We, uh... We're still very much in the planning phases, but um, so far it doesn't look like we're going to be in need of anything dire. we got plenty of metal, wood, food, and morale seems pretty high. Nobody's really complaining. Um, they got a place to sleep. It's pretty dry and cozy. And these, uh, these dirt walls, while not um, menacing, are or at least providing some sense of security, so they're not concerned too much. So I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, leave some comments. Um, I'll, I'll name some gnomes after people if you'd like.
and uh, feel free to subscribe as well.